Hello, everyone. Welcome to Nanolids of Dawn. I remain your host, or I am your host, Dominic, and we have some exhibition matches by request. All the replays, actually. So these are being run on 1.6.9.0, which is not the latest version, but they're a bit older because, like I said, they were requests that I couldn't get to because of tournaments and just being busy for the last couple weeks. So let's get to them. So this match is going to be FFC versus 400 on Fairyland. Starting out FFC going for the Spotbot Factory, while 400 going for the Rover Factory, which I'm a little bit surprised by. This map doesn't... I mean, it's not bad for Rovers, but it's not great with the hills. They can traverse basically anywhere. The problem is simply a matter of speed. On the other hand, spiders, of course, are spiders and can go on cliffs. So they don't care. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to see FFC probably going up along here, along the sides. The one thing about FFC... Sorry, the one thing about Fairyland is that... Because of the fact that a lot of the areas that are heavily cliffed also have water in the way, spiders can't get through that easily. They can kind of go around, but they can't go through. That's actually why it has the holes with the water in it, so that spiders can't go through. It's actually the only way to make a wall that's basically there, that nothing can cross. This one, though, FC managed to get a little bit of raiding going, not too much, mostly just for scouting purposes and slowing down their opponent. 400, I mean... Being a little bit delayed by having to rebuild their or repair their metal extractor, not a huge deal, just a mild annoyance. Same time though, we do have 400 set up with the dart just about ready to start stop basically anything from coming at it. Venom already in place to get rid of the dart, but even then, that's still slowing things down. That means FFC can't well has to deal with that dart before sending any weavers up north, which I don't think they've actually built yet. They focus primarily on getting their own rating going right off the bat, and. Indeed, they are kind of managing to do some of it. Mostly, again, just seeing what the heck they're doing, where their opponent's up to. And seeing that 400 is going for fencers, which, that's useful knowledge. Ah, oh, the Lotus is going to die. It's going to kill all of FFC's fleas with it. Oh no, just two of them. No, this Mason's actually in a really bad spot right now. Where are the fencers? Okay, one of them's coming in right, right off the bat, but not quickly enough. And the fleas are properly placed to get rid of the metal extractors without dying. Finally, someone gets actually respect for the death radius, or the death explosions. Though FC managing to get a little bit of raiding going, unfortunately not getting rid of the Mason, but still, two metal extractors isn't bad. However, that's more just something FC has to make up for. They are behind an economy overall. Just now managing to pull ahead thanks to that raid. So, at this point, I would say FFC is still not doing great. I mean, they've, they've been raiding, they've been doing some damage, but they didn't get rid of the Mason. They didn't really slow down any of the rebuilding efforts. And their opponents now have three fencers bearing down on them with not much to stomp. I mean... Ten fleas will do a bit of a number, but once those fencers stop, those fleas are dead. So, I... I'm guessing this Reckless is exactly what's going to be done to actually get rid of the fencers, but honestly, those fencers are going to have a bit of an easy time. This one, though, FFC, having raided, has managed to get at least a fair bit of an advantage, economically speaking. Not to mention having the fleas in place to scout out their opponents. So, right now, FFC... I mean, they don't have the unit composition, I would say, is ideal for this situation, but they do at least have a position economically where they can build up as needed. 400 just now catching up, and also scouting out to make sure that their opponents don't have fleas on any of the expansions. Very useful and important thing to bear in mind. If your opponents have fleas of the expansions, or in this case have darts of the expansions, it makes it a lot harder to expand, as 400 is essentially containing FFC quite well. Like, right now, FFC cannot really expand without sending some military units forward, which... They don't seem prepared to do. They have a Venom up here with the Weaver, which would be of some use, but not much. Same time, over the north, the Flea getting stopped completely. The Dart's coming in from 400, not having any problems getting rid of the Fleas. That's opening 400 up pretty much entirely to the north side of the map. So right now, while 400 did not manage to deal a whole lot of damage over the south from FFC, FFC is also not stopping 400 from expanding in the slightest. So FFC, I would say, is having a bit of a tough time. They do have fleas around the map, trying to get possibly get rid of some of the darts, possibly use it to move forward. I'm really not sure. FFC does know that there's stuff there. Like, they have full knowledge of that. They have radar and everything. They know that they can't easily expand. Like, 400 actually doesn't know that without scouting out. FFC does. Going for the darts and the going for the darts with the fleas and managing to deal enough damage. Getting the drop on that dart, allowing that dart to go away, and now that weaver this weaver down here does have the room to go north and actually start expanding. That being said, there's not a whole lot of expanding constructors, mostly being used to build up power. Understandable, you do want to have your power up so that you can reclaim as needed, and for the overdrive grid as well. 
Bearing in mind that 1.1 base power on this on the plateaus in this map does mean that there is a lot of room for overdrive to be developed on that plateau. That being said, of course, the key question is whether or not FFC is actually able to deal significant damage in the process of trying to get through this. Ooh, nice flea flea venom combo working out beautifully here. Unfortunately, the flea is not managing to get rid of the the tower in time. Okay, Lotus still threatened, but that's the that's the flea venom problem. Venoms and fleas need to be very careful when used with each other, because otherwise the venoms will stun out the fleas, and the fleas won't be able to do anything. It's one of the hardest parts about playing Spider, at least until Redback, which, honestly, I'm surprised it's been five minutes, and we're only just seeing the first Redback, since Venom Redback works remarkably well, unlike Venom Flea, or rather works remarkably well without having a massive amount of micro involved. Still, FFC and 400 managing to maintain relative neck-and-neck -neck economic power. FFC, having invested into their energy infrastructure earlier on, has paid off. 400 currently working on that as well, but a bit behind as far as that's concerned. I mean, behind 10 metal per, or 10 energy per second, that's getting them close to possibly losing out on using any reclaim they managed to get. Actually, it is making them lose out on the reclaim. Thus far, still in the storage, it's fine, but they need that power in order, or they need the energy rather, in order to be able to actually use that metal. And it's not being built regularly. 400 will be metal... St well, they are e-stalling. They will be metal accessing quite so shortly. FFC, on the other hand, fully prepared to use whatever metal they have. At least for the next 10 metal per second or so. Same time, going over to the northeast and trying to block off 400 here. Forcing the commander to retreat, getting rid of the expansion over to the northeast, while at the same time, flees over to the southeast, getting rid of everything 400 had started to build there. So the eastern side of the map, FFC's taking that out. Same time... 400 trying to maintain some kind of presence over the western side of the map, having a bit of a tough time doing so. As it is, FC is already set up for the fleas, should be able to get rid of this mason without any issue, as the mason walking right in the lotuses goes down without being able to build anything. These defenses over on the hill, they will prevent FFC from attacking too quickly, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. At the same time, though, these darts coming in to get rid of the recluses should be able to wipe out the entire force. I mean, fleas coming in trying to save the day, and will manage actually to save all the recluses. Just barely. The darts only managing to get a couple of hits in each, but not enough to kill out the recluses. FFC doing a great job just keeping themselves in the match. The Ravagers going over to the western side of the map will not be able to deal a huge amount of damage. They should be able to get rid of a couple of Lotuses and... Actually, wait, other way around. They will deal a huge amount of damage. Flea is coming in to try to save the day, and I don't think this is going to work as well. The defenses will all go down, so 400 will at least be able to break a little bit of FFC's control... Though the fleas are pretty much unopposed. The Ravagers are not able to stop them. The Ravagers will not be able to hit them. And that that point, that means the Ravagers are basically dead. Getting a bit of damage in there, but ultimately just donating metal. And FFC coming with a bit of support force just in case they need it. But no, the fleas are doing fine. FFC is really trying to demonstrate how well fleas can actually get value in this game. I mean, that was what? A dozen fleas chasing off four Ravagers... Granted, there were no sag defenses or anything to actually stop the fleas, but yeah, the Ravagers on their own, getting torn apart by the fleas, and at this point, the Weaver's still alive. It can rebuild, no problem. At the same time, over to the northeast, everything's been destroyed. The commander's been forced to retreat, there's no builders nearby, there's a few fencers, but that's about it. And FFC can take the eastern side of the map without any real opposition. Certainly can retake this western bit without opposition, so FFC started out a little slow, but this investment in fleas has really paid off. Not to mention, they do still have other support units like the Recluses, so it's not just Fleas. But when it comes down to it, that's the main army. It's getting rid of the Darts, no problem. It's getting rid of the Ravagers, no problem. The Fencers, no. The Fencers are actually going to be able to counter the Fleas, but that's where the Recluses come in. So FSC is really showcasing what Spiders can do in this match. I was also changing over to the Air Factory, or at least adding Phoenixes to their lineup. As well as an Owl, just to make sure they know what's up. Same time, 400, looks like they're possibly setting up another factory. The caretaker over at the front side of their base implies a factory, because there's no reclaim around there other than this one wreck. Not much worth it. My guess is that they're going to be building up air gunships in about a minute or two, but honestly, I'm not sure the game's going to last that long. I mean, this this entire group of fencers here is basically going to be destroyed by the recluses and the bombers. Phoenix is coming in here, should be able to burn out the, everything the recluses don't kill, and the recluses should be able to kill most of it. Without these fencers, there's basically nothing stopping FFC from going into 400's base, and with that, FFC should be able to push in and possibly take a win. I don't know if they're going to go for it, but they could very well. There's not a whole lot 400 has that would stop any real advance. 
Unfortunately, FFC is not dealing with the western side of the map. They're entirely focused on the eastern side of the map, which means 400 doesn't have to worry about losing the metal extractors over to the west, which also means FFC and 400 are still relatively even economically. Despite the fact that 400 is really falling behind in terms of military, and FFC could probably just waltz right in. It's just a matter of prioritizing where they place their forces, and right now they're placing a lot of their forces over on the side of the map that can't really get broken without having to deal with the fact that if 400 still has 30, 40 metal per second. From, of course, on the western side of the map, there are the Lotuses! Fleas cannot really deal with Lotuses, not without having overwhelming numbers, which FFC doesn't have. They have, you know, a few dozen Fleas here, a few dozen Fleas there. Fleas aren't that powerful. Now, that being said, this Redback Reckless could probably waltz in with the right angle. Like if it came in from here, it, hitting one Lotus at a time, it would probably be able to destroy them. The Reckless certainly would be able to destroy them. But FFC is not focusing on the western side of the map at all, and I really wish they were, just because that would mean the western side of the map would go down. That would be 400 taking damage, but 400, because they aren't losing the western side of the map, they can continue to rebuild these fencers, even as they get destroyed in large numbers. Even as their attrition is terrible right now, 400's economy is good enough that it really doesn't matter, and the fencers can't be attacked by the fleas. Not without the fleas getting destroyed. That's that's the thing. Like, Venom Redback, Venom Hermit, those would both be really good ideas to help push through this line of fencers. But FFC really wants to demonstrate the fleas, and this is one of those places the fleas just do not do well. As for 400, again, I'm not sure what they're planning on doing here. They do have a bit more energy going forward, which is good. Of course, that doesn't really help anything if they're not going to be able to build anything other than fencers and raptors, which again, fencers deal with the fleas, raptors deal with most other things. So there are options. It's just that 400 isn't really taking advantage of most of them, and even what they are taking advantage of, it's honestly not all that useful. I mean, if the fencers get destroyed by all the phoenixes, well, the raptors get destroyed by the fleas. And the fencers are being quite heavily damaged by the recluses, which the ravagers will be able to help get rid of. Help get rid of, mind you. Ravagers will still probably have a bit of a hard time with the kiting recluses. But honestly, right now, I kind of wish we'd see more Scorchers. They just... A dozen Scorchers. Just rush in with those. That would deal with this whole setup. The right backs would be a bit of a problem, but everything else... No. Everything else would be dealt with fine. Fencers, however, are not really... I mean, that's... Okay, they're not really doing a whole lot when you get these phoenixes in here. The fleas, yes. They get rid of the fleas without issue. And that's good, because, again, FFC's been spamming fleas. That's pretty much their entire game plan. But at this point, FFC is switching over to redbacks, or recklesses a little bit, switching over to a lot of phoenixes. Getting a Dante out, too, because why not at this point with the economy they have? But that being said, 400's not behind in economy. They're basically even. Even when you consider attrition, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, the crab in place, though, should be able to help get rid of basically everything coming forward. Looks like the Ravagers are going to be completely bypassing the crab, going to that same expansion they attacked previously, and there are no fleas there, so the Ravagers should be able to wipe it all out. Same time, Ravagers over on the southeast side of the map, distracting a lot of fleas, forcing FFC to put most of their attention over to the eastern side of the map, or at least get most of their units there, which didn't really do a whole lot of good. I mean, if you look, everything got killed. FFC's got a lot of reclaim to work with, and they didn't lose their worker in the process, because that's the thing with spiders on a cliffy map. They can just walk the weaver off the side of the cliff, and it's difficult for other things to deal with them. This one, though, another Ravager coming in here. The Redbacks, gonna be of some use, but honestly, not that helpful. It will die if the Ravagers start to focus on it at all, but no, the Fleas are forcing the Ravager retreat. And again, I feel like 400 is just trying to figure out what FFC has going for them. I mean, right now, 400... They have some radar coverage, but not much. Certainly not the center of the map. FFC has made sure of that. But I think what 400 wants to do is to try to figure out where they can poke in, what damage they can deal, if they can get rid of any fleas. But again, they don't have units that are really well equipped to get rid of fleas. That's why I would love to see Scorchers. And we're seeing Impalers come in instead as a way of just dealing with this entire area over the eastern side of the map relatively painlessly. Not a terrible idea considering you got the Crab and you got the Recluses. So, sure. That wouldn't make that'll be a bad idea to use anything super raidery. Impalers make sense there, but over the western side of the map, just go in with Scorchers and a like Scorcher Ripper Ravager would probably altogether be able to wipe out everything. Even as it is, the Ravagers, there aren't a lot of fleas to stop them, and the Lotuses would be a bit of a problem, but if you approach it from the side, there aren't as many Lotuses to fight, so it might work. 
Actually, that's exactly what 400 is planning on doing with a dozen Ravagers coming over to the eastern side of, or western side of the map. Should be quite capable of taking out this entire expansion. Possibly going from there to the rest of the base. There are no real defenses after this expansion. That's the main defense. That and the Phoenixes. The constant threat of Air Force, but there's a chainsaw coming up. And that chainsaw will be able to stop basically everything as far as this raid is concerned. Like, defending against the Ravagers? No, that's not going to happen. FC, however, is prepared for this. They don't... They don't see that there are Ravagers over here. Oh, no, they do. Never mind. The Owl is managing to spot them. Thought maybe 400 being, was being clever by going behind the hill there. Going behind this little... Well, I guess it's not such a hill. It's more of a... More of a ridge. But yeah, going behind that ridge didn't quite work out. But again, there are still Phoenixes around there. There's a Thunderbird as well, which will be extremely useful whenever any fights break out. I mean, at this point, FFC is just waiting for a fight. They don't clearly want to actually push a fight. Not sure why. I mean, they've been in a strong position to push a fight. Ah, that's why, because the Dante, of course, now finally getting into place. 400 pretty much getting baited out by this, but not actually sending the Ravagers in. No, not even sending the Ravagers in to attack the expansion. I'm a bit surprised. I would almost expect they'd go to attack the Dante, try to get rid of it, but nope. Not concerned at all. Which may be a bad idea. The chainsaw, not quite up. Two seconds before the chainsaw is up. Perfectly timed by FFC. They're losing maybe one Phoenix to that whole raid. No, not even. Phoenixes do survive. The Ravagers get pushed back. Unfortunately, doesn't manage to kill any of them. But also does spot the chainsaw before it becomes a big deal. Still, though, perfectly timed as far as actually attacking one. And even with that, the Dante, that's going to wipe this entire base out. At this point, it might as well just head west to get rid of the chainsaw as well. Because now that the chainsaw is up, these Ravagers will likely go to attack. They have no reason not to. There's nothing that can really stop them except for the fleas. And again, just send a few Scorchers with them. Actually, 400, what is 400 doing? They're not building anything. They haven't got any builders. They haven't got any Scorchers. Their, their entire... Economy, I guess they're pushing it into some defenses, but why aren't they going for, you know, units? Quite a lot of metal stalling on top of the fact that FFC is gradually pulling ahead. So, I don't understand what the motivation here is to not be building units. Maybe they just forgot. We're not having, getting a gunship plant at the same time, perhaps trying to save money for the gunships? And indeed, going for a few tridents, try to get rid of some of the air forces here. Try, essentially trying to maintain air control beyond what they have for the chainsaw. Not sure how much good it's going to do, however. The Raptor's getting caught out, burned to be weakened, on top of the fleas coming in to try to finish them off as they're EMP'd, but this isn't likely to do a whole lot. And the Ravagers are forced to retreat, but the Ravagers should be able to get their weapons back before any of them die. That being said, the Ravagers, again, they can't really deal with fleas. The fleas, however, are not able to deal with the Lotuses and being pulled in. is not paying attention to this at all. Losing basically all of their fleas and a couple of their phoenixes to that entire set of defenses. That is a huge blow. FC was not paying attention to those fleas, and I kind of wish they were. They would have, that would have been the perfect time to pull them back. Because that was 400's entire plan. Maybe lose a couple of Ravagers, but pull all the fleas into the Lotuses. Of course, with this emissary being set up... Actually, I didn't even notice the tank factory being built. But yeah, the emissary is being set up to help get rid of these defenses. Probably will be able to help get rid of all these metal, this chainsaw as well. And that's going to be a problem. If that chainsaw goes, then there's nothing stopping 400 from wiping out all these Ravagers from the air. Because the only other anti-air defense that exists around here is... Well, I guess these pressures. That is something. They do have a decent amount of range. But still, once you get past this side of the map, no. I mean, the Threshers are obviously a bit of a problem. That will be something to get rid of. On top of the... Ooh, Blastwings coming in. Interesting choice there from 400, trying to send in some Blastwings to help deal a bit of damage. But honestly, I'm not quite sure of the motivation. And again, I'm also not sure of the motivation for, you know, not using all the metal on this set of gunships. And on top of that, why aren't there any more rovers? Like, set it to low priority. Just build up some Scorchers or something to help, again, with getting rid of this entire western side. At this point, FFC is, seems to be just waiting to figure out where they can attack without too much issue. I mean, they have the Dante set up, but they obviously don't want to lose it. And there's a lot of forces that are coming in from 400 that are causing small problems. Mostly the Emissaries. But really, FFC just has these cards up their sleeve. They have the Dante. They have all these Recluses. They're pretty much been sandbagging this entire game. Just trying to throw in a few things here and there. You know, throw in the Emissaries only when they need to. Throw in the Recluses only when they need to. Mostly just throw out a bunch of fleas to figure out what the heck their opponent's up to. So they know when to attack and where to attack. And what to attack with. But I think the Dante at this point decided, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just... 
take out everything, at least get rid of a few metal extractors, get rid of a few workers, maybe a few defenses. But FFC is playing this super safe. Like, honestly, a little bit annoyingly safe, to be honest, because it's just, you have this Dante that, okay, the Dante you don't want to have die. But two Dantes could have been built in this time, and actually I'm kind of surprised they aren't. At the same time, the emissaries are coming in and dealing some damage, but not a whole lot of pressure has been applied on top of that. Again, much like we aren't seeing any Scorchers coming out from 400, we aren't seeing anything along the lines of what I'd expect. Oops. Okay, what? Ah. We aren't seeing anything what I'd expect for spiders either. No hermits, not a whole lot of redbacks. I mean, hermits really at this stage of the game is what I'd expect. Because when you're dealing with assault forces, you want to have... You want to use spiders, you use hermits. Or for that matter, you have tanks. There's no minotaurs coming out either. Like, really, frontline assault is not a thing. I almost feel like the players in this game were kind of thinking, hey, what can we do without using standard raiders? Because I should point out, we have not seen a single Scorcher this entire game. And we've only seen one Venom. And that's it. Everything else has been skirmishers and artillery. And I'm not sure if the players were thinking, hey, let's try this. Or if both of them just decided to not go for raiders this game. It, or maybe FC decided a little bit at first. They're deciding to see what is what do fleas do. And again, fleas would have a really hard time if Scorchers were up. But they're not. Not to mention, how many lotuses are here? That's 13 lotuses. Yeah, good luck with that, Ravagers. Honestly, I'll be surprised we aren't seeing the Impaler on this side to try to help get rid of these lotuses. We aren't, though. So, it's a bit of a moot point. Or heck, rippers, honestly. Like, for how closely packed those lotuses are, a few rippers would do a good job. Just the splash damage. But no, the Ravagers force back. Actually, the rippers would also help get rid of the, the fleas, to be honest. That would be... I'd be, I'd be surprised we aren't seeing any rippers come to think about. Why aren't we seeing rippers? Those would be amazing right about now. But no, that's just not the thing, apparently. It's not the done thing, according to 400. Not sure it matters, though. FFC with a 2-1 to one lead in terms of economy. And with... Well, okay, only 8,000 metal lead in terms of attrition. But still, 2-1 to one lead in terms of economy. That's... That's enough to often win the game. I mean, 400's defenses are certainly intimidating, but I'm not sure it's really all that big of a deal. I mean, what what does FFC have for knowledge? They have radar over here. Looks like it is... Is it static radar or is this... Com no, the commander's not upgraded. Ah, the Weavers, of course. Yeah. So the Weavers coming in here, that's handy. 400, on the other hand, what do they know? They know the frontline forces exist. They don't really know much else. They don't know, for instance, that this entire group of fleas... Why fleas? Why all the fleas? All fleas all day. Apparently that is FFC's thing. It's going for a flea build. I mean, this isn't exactly the kind of game where you have to be stuck with whatever unit composition you worked with at the beginning. It's There's no tech requirements for units. You just build them. Okay, whatever. FFC wants to go for fleas. I mean, really, I think that Dante's going to be winning the game. The fleas did a pretty good job early on making sure that their opponents couldn't attack. Like, the Ravagers couldn't do much, and the fencers had to be a bit careful. I mean, fencers beat fleas if fleas approach fencers, but if fencers are moving, the fleas beat them. It's a little bit trickier than just fencers beat fleas. But now with this Dante in the base, this is it. The Dante in the base should be able to wipe out everything, even if it goes down. Honestly, why aren't we seeing these this force attack here? The Recluses and Emissaries could go in and just support that Dante. Help wipe everything out. But FC should be able to take this anyway. The factory is going to go down pretty shortly. The Oh. Oh, a Phantom Commander. Yeah, shock rifle. And the commander. Ooh, that's a bit of a shame. Lego coming in here. Probably going to go down to the Threshers and Chainsaw. Yeah, the Chainsaw's got it. Oh, now the Chainsaw. Oh, no, just barely surviving the Chainsaw. There is an air pad, so at least won't be keeping to the factory. But at the same time, the Dante does go down. After having dealt significant damage to 400's base, right now, really, FFC just walk into their base. And that, okay, there we go. There's the fleas. I don't know how many there are. 92 fleas just rushing into the base. Testing the pathfinding of the spring engine. And actually, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. But just move in. Get in everything. Just wipe it all out. There we go. FFC with the fleas. Showing off what fleas can do once, the, you know, the Dante has already won the game. Getting rid of the commander. The factory should go down soon afterwards. So the commander, death, that's putting 400. They're throwing in the towel. They're done. They can't continue with that. And honestly, FFC had such an advantage from the beginning. I really feel like FFC was sandbagging that game. Like they just went, you know, I'm just going to build stuff and then use the absolute minimum I can to actually win the game. See what I can get away with. 
And yeah, they they got away with a lot. But hey, it's also good to know that fleas are very useful. So those of you using spiders out there, don't forget fleas. Now, don't forget hermits either, or venom redback, but fleas have their place and actually are quite useful. They're not useful against defenses, but if your opponent hasn't really entrenched themselves somewhere or is using a lot of assault units, fleas can actually do a really good job. So with that, that is the first game of the night. Next game, bit of a long one, is going to be between Filthos and Dynethroid on Wanderlust, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes. But I... Yeah, it's going to be a bit long. I'm not sure... I Bear in mind, whenever I do this, I can see... That's a good thing. I can see what how long the match is going to be. I just don't know who's winning. So yeah, get your... Get food or something. I already have my water, so I'm good. Yeah, just we'll be in for a little while. So, stay tuned. Be back in a sec. 